Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and start this. Hi, people. Seek the Visceral, aka Jesse here. How you doing? I'm doing okay. I haven't done a video in a couple of months, and that sucks. Didn't really know what to say. Didn't really have anything special to talk about. Um, I don't know how many weeks it's been since I've... I think it's a year and 48 weeks, so I'm coming up on the big two-year marker, and on that day, or maybe on that Saturday, I'll be doing a blog TV. I'll, I'll let you know in another video. But the reason why I'm doing this video is because I got tagged. What better way, uh, <laughs> or, or, you know, when you're not feeling inspirational, what better way, what better reason to make a video than to, you know, be tagged. So thank you to Precambrian Lullaby for tagging me. So go on over to his channel and uh, thank him for getting my ass off the couch and doing a video again. So the tag was, you have to find three songs that you love from three bands that you hate. And this was very, very difficult for me because I hate so many, not even bands, just, you know, just people in the music business. It's so fucking retarded. I, I, I didn't think I'd, I, I just wanted to make a list of people I hate. <laughs> But I, you know, stuck to the rules. I did bands. And I came up with three, so here's my three. My first song that I love from a band that I hate is Rearranged by Limp Bizkit. Uh, everybody thought that they were the shit in the 90s. <sighs> They're okay. I just, I, I didn't like them. I didn't like their, it just, it just wasn't for me. Okay, not 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 to be such a hater, but when something is overplayed, you start to hate it, and that's usually um, how pop songs get stuck in our heads. But Limp Bizkit, I guess they're rap. They're not. I don't know if they're rock or anything like that. But rearranged stands out from everything else that they've done. I mean, if you read the lyrics, you the, you could be talking about anything. You could be talking about a type of person. You could be talking about a uh, deity. You could be talking about anything. You know, you and me, we're through. Thank God it's over. You know, all that stuff. You know, it could be the end of a friendship or uh, the end of an addiction. Something like that. That times have changed and we're not the same people that we are anymore. And it was so low-key. That's kind of why I liked this song. You know, it, it concentrated mainly on the bass. It wasn't so much the rapping and stuff like that, but it was... I really liked it. I, so that's my number one. Uh, number two is from a band that I wish would go away. And that is Green Day. I hate Green Day. I have always hated Green Day. I don't get what is the big deal about Green Day and what makes them so special. I cannot stand Billy Joe Armstrong, I guess that's his name. I cannot stand his voice. I can I mean, it sounds like he's throwing up his lyrics. I can't stand his voice. It, it ugh, nails on a chalkboard. It's kind of like, you know, how all of us feel about Celine Dion. That's how I feel about Billy Joe. I'm sorry. I'm sure you're a hard-working band. I know you've been together since, what, the 80s? And I've had all this time to get used to you, but I don't want to. I really don't. I don't e see it ever happening. I'm sorry. You guys suck. But there is one song that they do that I like. And that song is called Hitchin' a Ride. And if you've never heard of this song, don't worry. I'm going to leave all three songs. Uh, I'm going to leave links to their videos down below. So if you want to take a gander. And the video is hilarious. But it's, it, again, kind of like the Limb Biscuit song. This is a little, little bit different. I, I think it's a little fresher than what the, the, the crap that they usually put out. And, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's a funny song. It's it's not too deep. It's I think the chorus goes I, uh, what is it, cold turkey's getting stale. So tonight I'm eating crow. You know it's just 
It's just a fun song. I like it. And if I close my eyes and just pretend that it's not Billy Joe singing, I can kind of enjoy it. You know? I, I'm sorry, Billy, sweetheart. I can't stand your fucking voice. I, I mean, I'm sure you play guitar very well, but Jesus Christ, you need singing lessons, honey. The shit you put out sucks. Okay, so that's my number two. <laughs> And uh, number three, what did I pick for number three? I'm sorry, I took off my glasses so that there wouldn't be a glare in this video. Now I can't fucking read. Oh yeah, number three, Fall Out Boy. So we've done Limp Biscuits, so that was kind of rap rock. We did Green Day, which is punk, and now we're doing emo, Fall Out Boy. I mean, they're kind of mainstream and they're overplayed, all that stuff. But once again, I just don't get it. I don't get what the BFD is about Fallout Boy. I, I mean, their videos are are entertaining. They really are. Th these guys are funny. They're talented. But their music is not something I enjoy at all. And um, I don't know. But the song that I picked was "Dance Dance" by Fallout Boy. Every time I hear that, I have to get up and start doing jumping jacks or something. I kind of have to start, <laughs> I don't know, headbanging like a tard for some reason. I really, really like that song. I don't even know all the lyrics. I can't understand half of what they're saying. But I love that song. So, those are my three. Hope you enjoyed listening to me, bitch. Um, hopefully... I'll get Nathan to uh, post a video, which we've done, with our friend Plutanian Sea Monkey, the uh, the Aussie that I've promoted before. We did a review of Priest in 3D. I know you just can't wait to hear that, but uh, I'll uh, I'll leave the tags again. I'll leave them below. I don't know how many people we're supposed to tag. I don't care. I'm just gonna tag whoever the hell I want. There you go, there's my video. Bye everybody.